Hello, welcome viewers. You're welcome back to your favorite cooking channel, Cooking with Baba. Yes, today we're going to make some, you know, juices, cocktail. Let me put it like that, and some drinks. Yes, so we're going to look at three basic things today: lemonade, mojito, and iced tea. Yes, you can chill at home with a simple, simple cocktails. Yes, and let's go straight into action. Yes, so we have some lemon. We're going to use some sugar, which is going to sweeten it. Or you can use honey or any other sweetener. We're going to have some mint in there for the mojito. We're going to use some soda and Sprite because we're doing a non-alcoholic one. Then we're going to use some tea bag for our iced tea. We're going to have some sugar cane, some lemongrass, pineapple, and of course, this kickstart. We're going to have to clean our sugar cane. So... Sugar cane comes in taller, but then what happens is that um, it was cut into smaller chunks for me so that I could easily work on it. So, yes, you need to clean your sugar cane well. So, you just need to use uh, maybe a clean sponge to scrub it off, and then when you're done, you use some lemon to clean it properly. So, even the lemon gives it some little taste as well. Yes, yeah, so. For your sugar cane, yes, it's good to clean it well because it is from the soil. Yes, usually goes in the mushy areas. It always comes out with a bit of dead and all those ones. So it's good to take your time and wash it properly. Now we basically need a juice, but if you don't have a juicer for sugar cane, you could just do this method I did. So I brew the sugar cane to get um, the sweet part of it out. Yes, so if you don't have a juicer or you're not getting sugar cane juice where you are. You could just go as we are doing here. So wash your get sugar cane um, clean and neat. And we're going to cut it into small, small chunks. Yes. You want to open it up so that at least um, when you soak it up, the juice is going to come out well. So what we doing here was to soak it with hot water in the jar. Yes, you can do that as one way to get the water out. But just like it takes a bit of time. It takes quite some hours and days if you don't take it to get it all out. So I'm going to soak my lemongrass here. Lemongrass are very healthy. When you're going to cook your lemongrass, if you want to do it over the fire, please don't overly do it. Once you smell it, put it off. You don't want to take everything out. So I prefer you use a hot water to pre-soak it. And you're meant to you remove the leaves and take off the branches. So I put it like that, that's them part. And yes. So I'm just prepping everything down. Then when we start, it goes in. Pack, 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 pack. So for my lemon, I'm taking the skin out of it. The skin is where we get the lemon zest. Now, what I realized is the lemon we have around here, honestly, when you use the skin to do your juices and stuff. Sometimes the taste becomes too strong in there. So if you don't want too much of it, you could just take the skin off and use the inner part, which is what I do here a lot. Yes. So for the pineapple skin too, I'm going to soak it with some hot water. You know, pineapple skin is very healthy. So I'll just get the juice from it. And I'm just going to dye the pineapple, the rest of the pineapple, the inner part for the decoration and then, you know, you can be eating it alongside it but then it's up to you the type of fruit you'd want to use as we go in i'm going to tell you a bit more of your basic ingredients you're going to need and i was saying we are prepping everything up so we're going to pre-soak our tea bags as well for our iced tea iced tea is basically tea which has been iced so we're going to use our tea bag and we're using some lipton here so to start off with the mojito mojito is um originally made from rum so it's, it's meant to be alcoholic but then uh, if you don't take alcohol what you could do is to do that non-alcoholic version by using just your uh, soda water with a bit of sprite to sweeten it up so you don't have to use sugar or you could just use the uh, soda water alone if you don't want any sweetener in there but you could do the soda water with a sweetener or you could just do sprite so my little boy likes it with a sprite but i like it with the soda water yeah, so it depends on how you'd want it. You could just mix it up as well. 
so like i was saying it's originally from ram and you used to add in a bit of sugar a bit of lime juice a bit of soda and mint just to complement the rum and get it out well but because we're doing a non-alcoholic version we're not going to use any rum here so we're just going to kick off that with the mint leaves and the lemon if you use so much lemon here it's going to be sharp honestly so for me if i'm doing a 500 ml um with you two i'm just using half the medium sized lemon yes i just juice the lemon into the jar with the mint leaves and i just try to grind it just a little bit so that um the there's a bit of infusion in there then i just add in a bit of the soda water the sprite and i try to crush it in a bit more then you can add in the other stuff which is going to be your lemon a few in so that it can be you know diffusing properly into it so the sugar cane and the pineapple skin honestly it can take a long while if you're just going to prep it like that so one fast way i go about it is to boil it together on the stove so that way it cooks faster the juices come out faster then you go about it so for iced tea i have my pre-soaked tea bag to get away all the flavors from it so you realize we prepped those and i pour this in then i added in my lemongrass and a bit of lemon to it so the lemongrass is very nutritious yes and aside of being nutritious it has this beautiful taste and flavor it adds to it so once that's done then you're virtually done with your iced tea and so let's bounce into our lemonade so for the lemonade all you need like i said is your lemon with your sweetener and water you could do this brewed or you could do it cold pressed like this so i crushed some ice because i didn't have the luxury of time so i just crushed some ice i squeezed in the lemon then i added in some sugar i was working with sugar i can always replace the sugar with stevia or day syrup or any sweetener of your choice then i just poured it over my eyes and it was mwah, just place some lemon on it what you could also do to get a very fine taste is to use hot water your lemon with your sweetener then when you're done you let it cool for a while before you serve it over the eyes that gives you um, a super nice taste um, fortunately I was a little bit time pressed with this one so I was able to get that for you but then your lemonade is basically your lemon your sweetener and your water so the iced tea I just added the Lipton water the sugar cane water with the pineapple water and the sugar so that with the lemon and the lemon grass so that gives you a super nice taste yeah and it's so super super cool you can have this literally any time of the day it's just great to have it around and yay serve it with them fun so try this beautiful drink cocktails at home have some fun make life with cooking with abba Yes, so if you like this video, do like, do share, do subscribe. Lots of love from my team and I will see you in the next food moment. Mwah.